Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. Today I want to do a trying to conceive update with you. Um, so if you are new to my channel, we are trying to conceive baby number two. Um, with baby number one, Ava. Her birthday is actually today, the 22nd of March. She was born the 22nd of March, 2016. And we were trying for her for over two and a half years. And um, I have a whole playlist on our trying to conceive journey. And then our successful cycle, we did an IUI um, with gonalef injections. Um, again, I have a playlist of that, which will be in the description for you to check that out if you are interested in that. Um, but basically, yeah, that was it. She, she came along on um, an IUI cycle and we were very happy about that. Um, but as I said, we are trying to conceive baby number two now. And I do these monthly updates for you um, just to let you know where we are on the journey, what we're doing or not doing, and how it's going. So I'm just going to grab my phone. Oh, it was right beside me the whole time. Um, so as per usual, I'm just going to tell you what cycle day that we're on. And we are on cycle day 36. Six. Um, so AF arrived, so my period arrived on the 14th of February on Valentine's Day um, and now we're on cycle day 36. So two weeks ago, around the 10th, um, I was getting signs of ovulation, which would have been cycle day 25. So I'm not quite sure whether that would happen. If it did happen, as I think it did, um, my period should start this weekend, the 24th. Um, so I'm hoping that will be as I expect. I didn't track the cycle. Usually I use the Hi Mama Fertility Tracker and I do have a video on that. It's a, just a, a device that I wear every single night and it tracks my body temperature. Um, and then I can also log every time we have intercourse, my um, cervical mucus consistency and all that sort of stuff onto the app as well. And um, usually I use that, but we just decided this much not to do that. Um, and it's a number of different reasons. And the main one was that we weren't really trying. Um, but on the tent, I did notice some very egg white CM. Um, so we did BD on that day, um, so we did have intercourse that day. So there is a chance that we could, if it, if ovulation did happen, um, there is a chance that obviously we could be pregnant, um, but um, I'm not very hopeful, hopeful. Um, and that's okay. Um, and I will, I do kind of have a little bit of a confession for you guys in that Myself and Robert spoke at the weekend and we're not like, the way we're approaching this is that if it happens that we have a baby um, right now, so let's go back to the start. So in December, you will remember that I said that we visited the fertility clinic. I was very gung-ho in trying to get it, have a baby. We visited the fertility clinic like we did last time. He told us, yeah, we're good to go for an IUI as what happened with Ava. Um, and that was the plan. And then, you know, Christmas came and then January came and then February, this is gonna be the month that we were gonna go and do it. Um, or March was the month that we're gonna go and do it, I think I think I said. And um, we just kind of laxed off it now. Um, you know, it's really tough. It's really, really tough because whilst the IUI worked the first time, there is no, like, there's there's a chance that it won't work the second time around. And then, as I said in other videos, that we don't really have the funds to move on to the IVF cycle. And I'm kind of scared to go to the clinic for us to do the cycle, for us to do the injections, to do the IUI, to do everything that we're supposed to do and for it not to work and then for them to say, you know, there's probably no really point in you doing another IUI, it's time to move on to IVF. Because we don't have the funds for IVF. Um, we just don't have the money there. 
Um, so I'm kind of scared more so than anything that that's why we haven't went back to the clinic. You know, both of us are kind of like, oh, we'll just hold off a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Um, and then at the weekend, I did mention to Robert that, you know, between me and my brother, there's five years. And then between my brother and my sister, there's five years. So between me and my sister, there's 10 years. And I just feel like that's just too much of a gap, an age, uh, an age gap. Um, in my experience, um, even between even the five years between me and my brother, um, so I always wanted to have my children close together, and then you know now I'm kind of like, do I want a second child? Am I just wanting a second child to have a second child? Am I just pushing myself to have a second child because of this fear I have of having the age gap? And all of these questions are coming up, and I don't really have the answers to it. Um, so it's kind of tough we're kind of in limbo then you know we do have to get like blood blood work done we have to get this particular blood work done Um, I think it's like STIs or something to check if you have like hepatitis or something like this Um, the, the clinic wants us both to get that done that costs 300 euros for us both to get it done Robert has to do a semen analysis and then we move on and in the meantime obviously they're like you know whenever you're near the end of your cycle you know ring us up and we'll start all that process but I never know when that is so I'm gonna have to ring them up and ask them for to get like Provera to induce my cycle and then I tried to take the metformin. The last cycle you would have seen, the last video I mentioned I took, um, I started did metformin. And I forgot, I forgot what metformin does. Like, it is horrible. Like, it has some gastric issues. And so I stopped taking it. I'm like, why am I putting myself, why am I doing this, you know? When he literally is putting me on this tablets because I what I used the last time. He literally said to me, we're just copying exactly everything that he did in the last time. We're just copying it. Um, so I was like, do I have to be on my form? And he's like, we're just going to copy everything we did the last time. So, yeah. Like, what if we make the decision or when we make the decision to be properly 100% go, go, go for this, I'm going to have to just suck it up and deal with the metformin. Um, but until then I'm just taking folic acid and the vitamin B that he wants me to take vitamin B complex that he wants me to take so yeah that's really my update my update is a whole big question really isn't it of whether we're going to do this whether we're not going to do this how much are we going to push ourselves to do this and it's just really tough you know I really wish I was one of those people who could just fall pregnant and I hate that, I hate that phrase. I don't know why I just said that, fall pregnant. Like you don't just fall pregnant, you don't just trip and fall and then you get up and you're pregnant. Um, so yeah, I just wish I was, we were one of those couples who, I, I wish, no, what I actually wish for is that I was, had regular periods. That's what I wish for. Because then it's easily trackable, you know what I mean? I know that in 28 days I'm gonna get my, my next period you know 28 day every 28 days my period is going to come along and it's easy trackable easy to track ovulation everything is easy about it but no i have pcos very irregular periods it's a pain so that's my update it's kind of a depressing update today um yeah so it's obviously playing on my mind a little bit more than it was and this is what I don't want to happen. The last time around, I was I was obsessed, obsessed. And I don't want to be like that because I have a child. I have a child, she turns two years old today. And that's all, that also is bringing up a whole lot of thoughts in my mind of how that whole thing happened. If you haven't seen my labor and delivery story, do check it out. It will be linked in the description below for you to check out. It was very traumatic and only around this, only around March is when I think about it. The same March last year I thought about it. Um, and also when I watch One Born Every Minute, every time I watch that program I think about it. Um, but yeah, you know, like, why, why am I doing this to my, why would I want to go through that whole experience again? 
Um, I know I've learned a lot of things from that first time around, d delivering Ava, but like, why would I want to put myself through that again? That's a question I always ask myself. Um, so yeah, I have like a blocked nose thing going on, like sinusy thing, I don't know. I don't think it's sinus, but like I have a whole blocked nose, weird sounding voice thing happening, in case you're wondering. So that's it. I think I'm going to stop rambling now. It's Wednesday night at 10 to 9 at night. Ava's in bed. Robert is gone to get our car checked. It's an NCT. We have to get a yearly NCT. So NCT is like a car check to make sure that it's safe to drive on the road. So he's gone to do that. And I just decided I'll record my video for tomorrow. We had great plans today. I had great plans to go and get balloons for Ava for her birthday, a little cupcake, a little candle. Ava then decided that, well, no, that's not really fair of me to say. Ava then woke up from her nap today and then puked everywhere. So she wasn't in a good state for me to be bundling her up and bringing her out after that. So we just stayed in and played for most of the day. So it'll be okay because we have a birthday gift for her. Um, so and that's it. Not, she doesn't even know it's her birthday. So like I don't really need to worry about it. Maybe next year I'll have to worry about it when she's turning three. She'll know probably that it's her birthday and she's turning three and make a bigger deal out of it. But I think tomorrow or the day that you're watching this, um, I will make sure i go and get a cupcake and a candle and that we blow out candles when daddy comes home from work i think so that's it guys that is today's video um if you are new here don't forget to subscribe please give this video a thumbs up and i also will mention that i do have a blog and i have two blog posts out the first one is an activity and a rice sensory tray activity that i complete with ava as part of our tot school so if you're interested in that please do click the description below. And the second one is a review of February 2018 is whether or not I hit the goals that I have set for myself and also a little insight into the, the analytics from my YouTube and my blog as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy both of those. If you check them out, oririshfamily.com is my blog. Do follow me on Instagram, Karen H. Ireland. I am starting to run some competitions. Um, I ran one for Mam, Mam UK, like the bottles and suitors. I ran one for them. And I will have one coming up very soon as well. So make sure that you go over there and check it out. And you never know, you might win something. Um, so that's it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.